Hey, Woodcutters Topsaw here. This is going to be the second video in the series of an overview of building a house from raw land to finish project. So I actually started with a 10 acre parcel split into two fives. I was going to build on that five and then decided to actually build on this five instead. So this is the start here. I see the road coming in right here, but there's some trees in the way. So I took that tree stump there out on the right. And then what I'm going to do on this parcel is build a cottage, a 1200 square foot cottage right here with that view looking out. And then maybe in a year's time, build a house up on the hill. So this is just kind of getting started with the cottage by laying out the roads. So the driveway is going to come in right here and then it's going to pull up. There's still a lot of trees in the way. So all those trees came out and there's stumps coming out as well. The stumps aren't removed, they'll start to compact under the ground uh, and then you'll get cracks in your house. I have a buddy here with a 1950s grader. He and I are just kind of starting to lay it out right here and get an idea of how the roads are gonna go. So this is all going pretty well. He's beautiful on this grader, it's a tough machine. And he's pulling in the original road right here so you can see him just moving that dirt over and how well it's working. This is still probably like February, March. I'm also working at the plans concurrently for the house, they're just about done. Beautiful sunset, but realizing I'm gonna to have to bring in an excavating contractor. So this is his 50,000 pound excavator. He's gonna do the whole septic systems with this and cut the pads with it as well. Beautiful machine works really well. So here's the driveway before you even get started. I had that in that earlier clip. That tree was to the right of it to give you an idea. And there's a cottage site. So plans are just about done here. Um, here's a site plan right here. So there's a driveway coming in. There's a cottage and the septic tanks on the right. Pretty big hammerhead for the driveway coming around on a topo. After that, staking out the house, all of the corners on the house where the house will go, the garage will go, where the roads will need to go. And then down to the county to get the building permit pickup. This is a little bit uh, expensive and cumbersome, but I finally have the building permit and the septic permit. So time to get started. And then here's a water truck and a little drone footage of the cottage site. It's uh, already starting to get cut a little bit, but you could tell um, how nice it's gonna look out there. A little more drone footage. It's gonna be a basement underneath, and then that's a little bit of the side yard to the right there, and then the driveway in the front. There's also gonna be another road accessing the lower portion, and that's gonna go through right here. So there's a cottage right in front there, and then there's going to be an access road getting to the back so you could pump the septic tanks and fill in propane or whatever else needs to be done on the back side of the house. A few days later with the road in front of the cottage cut with that D4 cat. Pressure starting the grader here just to move it out of the way and then this will be the top home site right here kind of getting that laid out a little bit now, even though it won't be built for the future. So this grader actually has a little pony motor to get it started, but it was parked on the hill, luckily. Beautiful moon, sunset, uh, probably the furthest most north the sun is gonna travel. This is cutting the upper pad for the future house that's gonna go on up there. Again, this won't be built for a while, but hoping to get the pad laid out now. Um, to get an idea of how the roads will all tie together. Back down on the cottage pad right here, the foundation guy and the excavator working together on the layout lines to make sure the footings are in the right place and everything's going to square up nicely. Uh, this big excavator moves a lot of dirt quickly, so it's nice to make sure you have all your lines set correctly. So starting to dig out the basement and the foundation of the cottage on the lower half of the property. Little drone footage here to get a feel where the footings and the basement and that cottage are going. 
and where the house is going to go or the cottage is going to go on the lower half of the property there using a transit a laser transit to make sure everything's staying level going back and forth between the excavator and the d4 cat uh, scooping out the basement and the footings and then kind of pulling the dirt out of the way with the cat working pretty well um, laser transit right there making sure all of the grades are correct i'll do more videos on that Stop working on the pad for a couple days to put the septic system in. So this is clearing a little bit for the septic system. I'll do a separate video on that as well. Just thought I'd put it in the time frame in this video. Making sure all of the dirt is watered down well and compacted well to drive over it. Kind of a long process, but um, really pretty key so that there's no future cracks in the house, no settling of the dirt. So there's a pretty good overview of what the foundation looks like and the wraparound. Hopefully this video series is making sense. I want to keep it short enough to keep you engaged to give an overview of the whole process. Um, and it'll be cool to look back on this when the whole house is finished. So this is Topsaw, all things wood, building a house here. It's going to be a small cottage first. And then from the small cottage, a bigger house further up on the hill. And so far what we've done is figure out some infrastructure like power, water, um, well, roads, and cutting the foundation. So it's coming together nicely. Uh, I think I might end this video here. This will be the second one in the series. The first one is, I think, titled Property Development, where I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this land. And then this one is up through grading or so. If you like the video, please hit like. And if you know anybody else who might be interested in an overview video series, please share it with them. Not that this is a how-to video, it's really just more on the overview of the whole process, just to get your head around the ideas of how a new house is built. I have two separate channels, Colfax Math, and that's really the applications of math. So some of the math I've done on this project, those videos will be there. And then tops all, all things wood. Um, this channel is really all things wood and in this case, and this series is gonna be construction and building of a home. Thank you for watching.